Glossolalia, Bible verses about speaking in tongues. Bible verses about speaking in tongues. Bible verses about speaking in tongues Acts 2 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. This verse describes the event of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit filled the disciples and gave them the ability to speak in different languages. 1 Corinthians 12 30. Have all the gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? This verse speaks to the diversity of spiritual gifts, which includes the gift of speaking in tongues. 1 Corinthians 14 2-4 For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God, for no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the Spirit he speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification, and exhortation, and comfort. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesieth edifieth the church. This passage speaks to the difference between speaking in tongues and prophesying. Speaking in tongues is a type of prayer language that edifies the speaker, whereas prophesying is a type of revelation that edifies the church. 1 Corinthians 14 15 Wherefore let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. This passage speaks to the importance of interpreting tongues. It encourages the speaker to pray that they may interpret in order to edify the church. 1 Corinthians 14 18-19 I thank my God, I speak with tongues more than ye all. Yet in the church I had rather speak five words with my understanding, that by my voice I might teach others also, than ten thousand words in an unknown tongue. This passage speaks to the importance of understanding in the church. It is better to speak five words with understanding than to speak in tongues without interpretation. 1 Corinthians 14 27 to 28 If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two, or at the most by three, and that by course, and let one interpret. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence in the church, and let him speak to himself, and to God. This passage speaks to the need for interpretation in the church. If there is no interpreter, the speaker should keep silent and speak to himself and to God. 1 Corinthians 14 39-40 Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy, and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently and in order. This passage encourages the church to not forbid speaking in tongues. It also speaks to the importance of order and decency in the church. Acts 10 46, For they heard them speak with tongues, and magnify God. This verse speaks to the use of tongues to magnify God. Acts 19 6, And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues, and prophesied. This verse speaks to the ability to prophesy and speak in tongues that comes from the laying on of hands. Romans 8 26-27 Likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. This passage speaks to the intercessory power of the Holy Spirit. It works in us with groanings that cannot be uttered, which may include speaking in tongues. Jude 1 20, But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. This verse speaks to the importance of praying in the Holy Spirit. Isaiah 28 12 For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people, to whom he said, this is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. This passage speaks to the use of another language, tongue, to speak to a people. Joel 2 28-29, And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my Spirit. This passage speaks to God pouring out His Spirit on all flesh. This includes the gift of speaking in tongues. Mark 16 17, And these signs shall follow them that believe, in my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues. This verse speaks to the ability to speak in tongues that comes with faith in Jesus. Zechariah 12 10, And I will pour upon the house of David, and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and of supplications, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him, as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him, as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. This verse speaks to the outpouring of the Spirit of grace and supplication upon the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. This includes the ability to speak in tongues. Matthew 3:11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost, and with fire. This verse speaks to the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which includes the ability to speak in tongues. Acts 2:14 14-15. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, 
lifted up his voice, and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words, for these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. This verse speaks to the speaking in tongues that occurred at Pentecost, 1 Corinthians 14:22. wherefore tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not, but prophesying serveth not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. This verse speaks to the purpose of speaking in tongues as a sign to unbelievers. Galatians 5 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law, and they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. This passage speaks to the fruit of the Spirit, which includes speaking in tongues. 1 Corinthians 14 23, If therefore the whole church be come together into one place, and all speak with tongues, and there come in those that are unlearned, or unbelievers, will they not say that ye are mad? This verse speaks to the need for order and understanding in the church. 1 Corinthians 14 34-35, Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also saith the law, and if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. This passage speaks to the need for order and decorum in the church. 2 Corinthians 13 14, The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost, be with you all. Amen. This verse speaks to the communion of the Holy Spirit, which includes speaking in tongues. 1 John 4 1-3, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God, and this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. This passage speaks to the need for discernment in the church. We cannot accept every spirit, but must try the spirits to see if they are of God. Revelation 19:10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. This verse speaks to the spirit of prophecy, which includes speaking in tongues. 1 Corinthians 14 5, I would that ye all spake with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy. For greater is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues, except ye interpret, that the church may receive edifying. This verse speaks to the importance of understanding in the church. It is better to prophesy than to speak in tongues without interpretation. The Spiritual Symphony What churches speak in tongues? PDF, Quiz, Bible Verses, Unique Facts, Classes, Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Welcome to Our Family, View All Posts,